New in the 19 tonight, we are hearing from the owners of the restaurant at the center of the Gordon Fox bribery scandal. The former speaker of the Rhode Island House pleaded guilty to accepting more than $50,000 in exchange for a liquor license. And the night team's Olivia Fecto is live in the studio with what they had to say. Olivia? Dan and Patrice, one of the owners of that restaurant wouldn't give us any direct answers when we asked about whether he had offered a bribe to Gordon Fox. But when we asked if he was concerned about being prosecuted himself, he said, quote, absolutely not. One of the two original owners of Shark Sushi Bar and Grill is speaking to NBC 10 for the first time, saying, quote, I did what I had to do because if you were subpoenaed, you would tell the truth. Joe DeLumba wouldn't answer follow up questions about any involvement. Was he cooperating as a government witness? Had he been involved in offering a bribe to former House Speaker Gordon Fox in exchange for a liquor license for Shark? Federal documents say two principals of Shark offered Fox more than $52,000 to get the license. Minutes from a Providence Board of Licenses hearing in August 2008 identified DeLumba and Ray Hugh as the restaurant's principals. So just how hard is it to get one of these licenses? We asked one nightclub owner who says if you're prepared, it's not that tough. They're going to want to know that you have a written plan, that you understand the ordinances, you understand what's expected from you. Anthony Santori owns Coliseum Nightclub in the Jewelry District. He went before the board in 2009. Like the owners of Shark, he faced opposition. The room was a chuck full, standing room only. And I was Joe Nice Guy from North Providence that owned a salon and had never in my life been in a room where I had so many people disliking me. Santuri described the process of getting a license. The board asks pointed questions about financing, public safety, and your level of experience to run a club or bar. He says it's not an easy process, but it's straightforward. It saddens me that this happened. I'm not a naive person like most of us aren't. We all know it happened. Okay. I do not think that this is something that happens all the time. DeLumba, though, tells NBC 10 that he, quote, did nothing wrong. DeLumbo also told us he hasn't been partners with Ray Hugh for years now. Live in the studio, Olivia Fecto, NBC 10 News Night Team.